It is done and work has commenced. Today, we're harvesting screw pine for crafts making. But what exactly is screw pine? It's a palm-like dioecious evergreen with many spreading branches. It is also a type of monocot with some 750 accepted species. These shrubs are native to the tropics and the subtropics. Other common names include pandan and screw palm. The plants can grow from sea level up to 3,300 meters. Pandanus plants are of cultural, health, and economic importance in the Pacific region where they can withstand a drought and the strong winds. Pandanus leaves are used in Southeastern Asian countries for cooking to add a distinct aroma to rice dishes. Here in Dominica, the plant serves as a windbreaker during stormy weather and as a retardant for soil erosion at sloping areas. It is widely known among straw workers that the best time of year to harvest screw pine is during the month of May because of the consistent sunny weather. It is advised to harvest in the early hours of the morning. When cutting the leaves, it is best to cut closer to the heart of the plants, the younger shoots, since it is manageable and easy to work with. The leaves are placed into stacks, laid onto an extended rope on the ground, and then tied. When that process is complete, the leaves are carried home for boiling. To prepare for boiling, the leaves are set into stacks of three or four and bent into a backward motion then wrapped up to create an oval shape. It is then tied and thrown into a pot of boiling water, which contains soap powder, which helps to bleach the straw. Ashes were once the most commonly used ingredients to aid in the bleaching process. The straw is left in the boiling water for about 10 to 15 minutes and then removed, untied and opened up to dry. It is critical to prepare the straw on a day that is sunny. When the straw is completely bleached or dried, it adopts a brownish to cream color and a much thinner texture. The leaves are then taken one by one to remove the center groove which contains some small thorns on the reverse side. The leaf is then sliced in two and rolled around the finger one by one into a ring to create a curly pattern. At that point, the two ends of the straw are tied together, then placed one more time in the sun for further bleaching. When the leaf reaches the desired color and texture, it is then scraped to become even thinner. The thorn blade-like edges are removed to prevent any damage to the hand, and the leaf is then shredded into half-inch ribbon-sized patterns, which makes it manageable for plaiting. The shredded straw is then plaited into a desired style. There are instances where the coconut palm straw is used to add a bit of color or a particular design while plaiting. When plaiting is completed, based on the intended length of the roll of straw, it is then sewn into the desired shape or style to create the craft product. Some of the craft items that can be derived from the straw work include hats, costumes, placemats, handbags, suitcases, letter holders, belts or straps, fans, caps and decorations. The screw pine straw craft was a major industry in Dominica many years ago with the support of companies like Tropicraft and Caribana. However, since the closure of these two outlets, there has been a decline in the production of crafts. More recently, tourism has become a major industry in Dominica, generating most of the country's revenue. This has created a market for small souvenir craft items across the island. As a result, the screw pine in its raw form has once again become an integral part of craft making in Dominica.